Sorry I'm late. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? Good. We've got a new family, right? We sure do, all ready to go. Oh, you have my tea ready. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Okay, so this is uh, Colleen and Brian. Yep. Newlyweds. All right, you ready? Yep, go. Hi, I'm Colleen Sparks, Newly Jones. I have married awesome Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Our first date was actually New Year's Eve. From that point on... The sparks flew. They look really cute. They do. Colleen's son, Dylan, my new stepson, is a really, really nice kid. He said our family's like a triangle because triangles are the strongest shape. Our house is a rancher and we're in Haddonfield, New Jersey. As of now, the way the house is set up, it almost makes it impossible for Brian to get his work done successfully. I still have my house in Philadelphia. That was my house I had as a bachelor. So when I go there to work, sometimes it causes problems with Colleen and I. She thinks I'm running away. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm just running away to a peaceful place it. to like, work. I totally get it. You know, I think she's insecure. I mean, she thinks he's running away. I hope not. He, they're newlyweds. <laughs> I think we could totally work within the footprint of the house. Our basement's so big, but I feel like it's, like, underutilized. Yeah, no, I think it's overutilized. Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of stuff down there. He needs a place to go for work. My son needs a place to entertain his friends. A place for the two of us would be amazing to unwind. What I have in storage down there, there are other places in the home to move it if we're creating more of a kid area slash workspace for him. So he needs a workspace. Workspace is key. I have a big family, so I like to entertain. So it would be nice to have a space for Brian, a space for Dylan, a space for <laughs> Us. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot going on here. He needs a space that is set away from everything. Her son needs a place where his friends can come over. They need a place as a family. Not much of a budget. No. $50,000. All right, well, that's on the agenda for tomorrow morning. Oh, good. Yeah. This is perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Colleen and Brian are still basking in newlywed bliss. On the face of it, everything is perfect, but clearly something's wrong in this house. Hey, how are you? Hi. Hey, I'm Who's Brian. This? this is Simba. Hi, Welcome Simba. To our house. Hi, nice hey, to meet nice you, Brian. Hey, nice to meet you. Let me take your coat. Thank you. Actually, it's a lovely day out there. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, well, Thank welcome. You. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm so Colleen. excited to have you here. Well, I'm excited to meet you both in person. How long have you been together? Uh, a total of two years, but we just got married six months ago. I love it. Great. Hey. Well, congratulations. Who doesn't love love, much. right? There is nothing but love, is there? I agree. He agrees, too. We did the kitchen a couple years ago, I would say. Good job. It's lovely. Thank you. Really lovely. Pleasure. We definitely needed more storage, so we added the peninsula. Did you do this because I was coming over, or is this how it always looks? So, well, it's cleaner because you were coming over. However, you better come during the week when he's here working. He thinks it's a closet. He <sighs> Sweatshirt, hats, sunglasses, wallet, computer folders. It's time for dinner. What happens? You have to pack everything up? What do you no, do? No, no, no. No, he doesn't. Who would do that? It all gets pushed right down into this corner. OK. Yeah, no. Splashing the soup all over yeah, that's the all, laptop. Yeah. OK, good. OK, and you have one son, Dylan. One son, Dylan. Yep. Dylan! One hey, two. Dylan, what is in here? It's a really small turtle. Is this turtle ever going to grow? No. Really? Oh, there he is. Aw. Does he have a name? Yes, his what? name is Lucky because um, I ordered two turtles and one of the turtles died on the way to our house, so I named him Lucky because he's lucky he didn't die. You're absolutely <laughs> right. He's very lucky. Yeah. He's doing fine. Yeah. <laughs> this is our bedroom back here. So, I don't mean to be nosy. No, you can go ahead. You're going to. But so we have my things. Okay, and then we have... More of that. More of my things. Okay, and then we've got all of this. Yes. When was the last time you went through them and said, you know, I haven't worn that for two years? Well, don't you feel that it always comes back? No, 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 no. You've got to stop that. I have to ask you. Okay. And believe me, I have a load of clothes too. But were those Brian's clothes I saw in the basement in the video you sent me? 
Yes. I really think that we should try and get Brian up here. Hillary, funny. That's what I've been saying. <gasps> oh, no. Well, listen, I'm not taking sides. I'm just trying to make the house work. All right, what is this room? This is the guest space and catch-all room. Oh, more of my things. I will like show Hillary. you how much I love you, Brian. I am actually going to make sure you have a space upstairs oh, for my. some of your clothes. Yeah. I will work on it. I mean, they really are such a great family. But since Brian has moved in, that dynamic has completely changed. But the house hasn't. I need to see the rest of their home to figure out how to fix this. So we're going to go down to the basement. What do you want to get out of this space? Jeez, um, definitely a entertaining space. But when you say entertaining, what do you mean by that? Mm. Watching football games, baseball games, golf, uh, maybe hosting neighbors. Eating. Yeah, having a barbecue and having additional places for people to sit. That's a lot of things. So. <laughs> <laughs> So the basement has been really useful for um, Dylan, for sure, to have most of that space given over to his toys and whatever he needs and wants. And that's great. But now it's time to move on from that and turn this into real living space for the entire family. Is there anything else I need to know about how you want this to work? You'll see the biggest challenge. I have all my stuff oh, in yes. a storage area, along with Christmas decorations, wrapping paper. And your point is? We need a spot for him. <laughs> <laughs> My whole three-bedroom house is in the corner of the basement back here, so. I think I have an idea now, so let's go. Okay. Cool. <laughs> what is this? That is Brian's clothes and miscellaneous things that he has brought over from his Philadelphia home. And is that your closet? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shirts hanging, jackets, a couple pairs of shoes. You know, I don't think that uh, Brian is the sort of person who's going to complain. But I think Brian would be thrilled if I can fix it. I still need to figure out how to keep you here. And not going to Philadelphia. Yes. Yep. Brian still has his Philly house. I feel like he always disappears and runs away to Philly. So I want him to feel like this is his home. He has a place to work, a place to relax, instead of going off to Philadelphia. You feel that in this particular setup, you don't have a place where you can work? You're 100% correct. The only place that I can see doing that without messing up your plans for the basement mm -hmm. is the garage. Great. That works. OK. 